and welcome to a new vlog. Welcome. Welcome back if you are one of my lovely returning friends. Welcome if you're new. Hi, I'm Andrea. Let's put you guys in your usual spot. There we go. It is Monday. It is Monday just past noon. I've been working all, all morning so far. Um, it's taken me a little bit to get this vlog started, but that's okay, because it's gonna be a whole week vlog. We're Monday through Friday. We're gonna vlog Monday through Friday. Yeah, it's, it's conference week. Yay. <laughs> um, no, I am excited for conferences. Conferences haven't technically started. I've done office hours this morning, shock surprise no one came to office hours I told them I told them sign up for a slot they need to sign up for a 15 minute conference slot but office hours are for drop-in conferences so if you come to office hours and do your conference then you can cancel your slot later in the day or later in the week and you'll be done for the week if it had been me and I was a very over-eager undergrad, but if it had been me, I would have been in there at like 10 a.m. as soon as my professor logged on for office hours, just getting my conference done so that I don't have to worry about it. I'm sure they were busy or they forgot one or the other. I need to post an announcement just to remind them that they can come to office hours. I'll be doing it again tomorrow. I was hoping that at least some students would come to office hours to get their conference done early, just so that it would make my schedule elsewhere in the week a little bit easier. I enjoy conference weeks. They're just very exhausting for me. But I have had a workout this morning. I wanted to go for a hike but I just, I did not sleep well enough or long enough. I was up too late last night. So I didn't get enough sleep. Didn't really feel this morning like going for a hike as much as I wanted to. And I was just a little bit worried about time and also about burning myself out. I do want to go for some hikes later in the week though. I think I can possibly go on Wednesday and then I'm also hoping to go Thursday and Friday afternoons. So there will be some hiking in this vlog. I went for a hike yesterday. It was lovely. Little bit warm yesterday. I won't lie. It got up to like 93 yesterday. This week it's going to definitely cool down a little bit. Um, it's mostly in the 80s this week. I was a little concerned as well about going out um, leaving my apartment today because they are, the painters are here again. <laughs> so they're still painting the building. I think the, by the front door, they have done the coat of paint. So they've done the primer and the coat of paint. I don't know if they'll do a second coat of paint or not, but then the bulk of that will be done and then it'll just be the front door that needs to be painted. The balcony, I think they've done the primer. I don't know if they've done the next coat of paint yet or not. So they're halfway through the process on like my corner of the building at least. I don't know what the rest of the building is like, but yeah, I was a little worried about leaving. And then like, what if they're in the middle of like spraying paint on the wall by my front door right as I got home from hiking. So I think by Wednesday I'll be safe to like go out and come back, like come and go as I need. But like I didn't technically need to leave my apartment this morning. So I thought, I'm feeling tired anyway. Let's not burn myself out because I've done that. I've made that mistake in the past with um, conference week where I start the week as I mean to go on. And so I wake up really early. I go for a walk or something like that. And then I'm in front of my computer all day. And by the end of the first day, I am just basically a zombie. And I don't want to do that. So I f I'm feeling pretty good. Like we're not even halfway through the day yet. But I've had a workout, I've had some food, I'm gonna get some lunch now, I've put on some makeup, I've curled my hair, I'm wearing a cute but comfortable, cute but comfortable outfit. Um, so like I'm feeling good and I just, I want to hold on to that throughout the week. So I'm trying, I'm trying to pace myself. So that's gonna be the struggle of the week is to just make sure that I am properly pacing myself and not 
overdoing it and then burning out by like Wednesday afternoon because I've got conferences all the way through Thursday and then I think right now on Friday I have like four or five conferences. So Friday will be my lightest day, assuming students don't unschedule themselves from earlier in the week and reschedule themselves for Friday, um, <laughs> which I've told them all, please don't do that unless you absolutely have to. So we shall see. Um, so hopefully Friday will continue to be a fairly light and easy day. But anyway, I need to keep this intro short because this is a full week long vlog. So get comfy, get cozy. It's going to be lots of Zoom conferences, lots of teaching work. I'm going to try to also give you some proofreading updates. As of this morning, I am up through page 200. And 31 so I think I'm starting today at page 232 maybe I'm starting 231 today but I am definitely I think I'm about two-thirds of the way through the proofread so that's awesome I'm gonna try to do some proofreading work this week and some cover work this week so stay tuned to this vlog to see what kind of progress I can make while I'm doing a just ton of Zoom conferences. <laughs> so tired um it's early <laughs> uh it's early on wednesday we are now up to wednesday day three of conference week so i'm doing conferences later in the day because i have physical therapy this morning so i'm starting after that um before that i really wanted to go for a hike <laughs> I've not been able to go for a hike the last couple mornings, but I really, really, really wanted to go for a hike today and then hopefully tomorrow and then I should be able to go again on Friday. So at least today and Friday, I know I can go or if I can go tomorrow and I might not go on Friday, we'll see. Um, Friday, the next couple days are still up in the air. I just have to see how I feel. Um, so I'm mostly just feeling really tired and I, I went to bed early last night still didn't sleep well my body is just dealing with something like hormonally and i wish it would sort itself out because i'm not happy with it but it is what it is so i'm just gonna go for a nice hike and decompress just a little bit conferences are going well 
conferences are going really well. So far I've had one student who couldn't make it to their conference, but they came to office hours yesterday. Uh, like I've been doing office hours Monday and Tuesday morning for like an hour and a half to two hours. Nobody came. And then my blo my short block, my 30 minute block of office hours, the student drop in time, four students came. But it's fine. One was the one who's making up their missed conference and two are on my schedule for today. So that's now freed up two 15 minute slots today. So it should make my schedule later this afternoon just a little bit easier. So that'll be good. Um, so I'm going to try to do my proofreading during the longer break that I have today. I managed to do my proofreading yesterday, I managed to finish editing a vlog during two of my short breaks, which was great. And then I did my proofreading during my unexpected longer break yesterday. So that was really good. It meant I had all my work done, my non-teaching work for the day done before five o'clock. So when conferences were done, I did just stop. I didn't do anything else for the day. So I'm hoping I can kind of do that again today. I don't have a vlog that needs to be edited, so that's good. So it's just proofreading. So if I can do that during my break, although we'll see, I might do some more proofreading after because thanks to yesterday, I am down to the last chapter and the epilogue, which I think is about 20 pages. So I might be able to fin- I really would like to try to finish the proofreading today because then I can spend Thursday and Friday working on either the front and back matter and the book description and stuff or working on the cover. We'll see what I feel like doing. But yeah, it would mean I can spend the next couple days working on all the other stuff. So yeah, fingers crossed. Um, but for now, I'm gonna get out and go for this hike. It is only 65 degrees. I'm not gonna wear the hoodie. The hoodie is just for while I was driving here. Um, I'm not gonna wear the hoodie on the hike. It's 65 degrees and sunny. It's gonna feel beautiful out here, but not really that cold. Um, so I've got my sun hat with me as well. I've got my water, I've got my AirPods. So the park is looking pretty busy. Um, the busiest I've seen it so far, I think. So. Clearly, a lot of people are getting out here in the mornings. It's been quiet in the evenings. Not as many people on the sunset hikes. I do think that's going to change throughout this week as the temperatures start gradually getting a little bit lower. But clearly, I'm not the only one who wants a cooler hike this morning. Someone else is just arriving. Like, it's a popular place to be this morning. So, trail is probably going to be a little bit busy isn't my favorite. I'm going to stick to the main trail again because I don't think it's gotten busy enough out here. Well, I do see someone on one of the side trails. I, you know, I don't have to do the full loop, but it is morning. I'm still a little bit worried about rattlesnakes. I won't lie because it's not been that cold out. The nights are getting colder, but it's not that cold out yet. So... I'll make a decision as I get up to the trail, but let's go for a hike.
Okay, I'm done. And I am a mess, but that was worth it. That was so much fun. <laughs> And that felt so good. It was a little bit warm in places, but there was also a breeze. And so the temperature is still, it's only 67. I can't believe I had a hike entirely in the 60s this morning. I thought it was going to be like 70 by the time I finished. Noisy bird outside. Um, you okay, hon? So yeah, it was really nice. I hiked for about 54 minutes, I think, according to my watch and 1.87 miles, so not quite two miles. After I turned around and was starting to head back, after a little while, I heard someone coming up behind me, sounded like a runner. So I stepped to the side, let them pass, and poor thing, she'd gotten like 10 feet in front of me and just tumbled, ended up on her back, facing the opposite direction she'd been tra been running in. And it was just one of those moments where like you, you feel in the moment, like you're watching it in slow motion. It's just like, as she was falling, like, oh my gosh, that's not gonna be good. And I was a little worried about her cause she, her knee connected with a rock, not like just the dirt path, which that would hurt enough. But when your knee connects with the rock and then I couldn't tell like if the rock was sharp or not, but yeah, she, she went down pretty hard. And then it's just like, oh, like I know she's gonna be embarrassed and like she shouldn't be. And she, you know, tried to say she was fine. I'm like, I'm not leaving you. Like, I'm not leaving you until I know you're okay. And I'm gonna walk with you for a little while. Like, I'm gonna stay with you until you can get up. And then I'm gonna hike with you for a little while. So, and she tried to like wave me out like, no, I'm staying. Like you're, you're I've been through this myself you're gonna be in shock for a little bit. She's like, I know this has happened to me before. I hate when this happens. And so she was able to get up pretty quickly. And then I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna hike with you for a little while. If you can start hiking faster than me, then you can go. Um, but we're gonna take this slow while you see how you can do. And she was able to walk on it. And after, after about five minutes, she was not even that long. She was then hiking pretty fast. She was probably going faster than I would have gone if I wasn't trying to stay with her and make sure she was okay. So it seemed like she was doing all right. And then she ended up starting from a different trailhead than me. So we did need to split. But at the point that we split, she didn't have that much farther to go. And she'd been able to carry a conversation. Um, she didn't hit her head, thankfully. Um, and she didn't hit her head. She was conscious the whole time. So it was just, it was more her knee and her hip that, cause it seemed like she went down more to one side. So that's what I was concerned about the most, but we were hiking. I think it was the adrenaline that was keeping her going. I know that that's been the case for me in the past. You just like, I need to get home. I need to get to somewhere I can sit and relax safely. But yeah, I didn't, she did seem okay even in the beginning, but I just, I didn't want to leave her by herself unless she'd been really insistent, but it seemed like it was like, no, you don't have to, I'm fine, I'm fine. But it, there was still something about her tone that was like, but I'm not gonna force you to leave me, <laughs> kind of a thing. And that's the same way I would be. You're so, you don't want to impose and you don't want to put someone out. You know, you don't want to make their hike take longer or something, but at the same time, you're still like the fear in the back of your head is like, what if I actually do need someone to be with me? So I was glad I could hike for her for at least that stretch that we were together. And I think by the time we split up, it seemed like she was doing a lot better. So <sighs> had a temporary hiking buddy today, <laughs> but yeah, overall it was a really nice hike. And the weather has been absolutely gorgeous. The only way this would have been more perfect weather is if there were some clouds and just a little bit of shade. But it was still cool enough and breezy enough that even the only time I really felt the sun was when the breeze died down. Then I would start to warm up a bit and then the breeze would pick back up again and the sun would be like just enough to keep you warm, but not hot. So... 
yeah but i have to go take a shower before i go to pt i thought it's not going to be that hot i'm probably not going to build up that work up that much of a sweat i'll just like change my shirt uh, but no i need to take a shower and wash my hair i'll go to the clinic with wet hair but i need to like clean myself up because i do not want to be around other people right now um feeling the way that i feel but yeah i don't know that i feel energized I still feel pretty tired <laughs> I and mean, hopefully this will help me sleep a little bit better tonight but that was really 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 nice so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me but now it is time to get on with my Wednesday and get home get showered go to PT come back home get some food and then get on with conferences so yay and then I think they're gonna paint my door at some point today they were starting to tape up the door frames or around the door frames so it looked like they were getting ready to actually do the painting and now someone's car alarm is going off so i'm gonna go now <laughs> just about five o'clock I did finish a tiny bit early so that's good and I can cross off email and grade I've checked in my email I've done some grading in between conferences so that's good I also this is the most thing you'll be you all will be most interested in I also finished proofreading well I didn't finish proofreading in general I try I've crossed it off in my planner. I probably was a bit too soon with that. I still have to go through the file on the computer and make all the changes of what I notated in Scriven in um, the PDF, but that's the easy part, going in and making all the changes. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. I might spend tomorrow and Friday working on cover stuff and book description and stuff like that, and then just knock out all of the corrections on Saturday. So we'll see, we'll see what I feel like doing. I feel like I can do it all in one sitting, but it might take more time than I'll have tomorrow. Whereas, like, it's been easy to sit down and do a few pages of proofreading or more when I have a 15 minute break or a 20 minute break. Um, today I ended up with a 30 minute break that I was able to do some proofreading and I had so little left. I had about 20 pages left so I was able to do that in the time I had. But I think tomorrow with the few breaks that I'll have, just having my work, my laptop to the side on my other desk doing a little bit of cover work or a little bit of work on the book description is easier to fit in in between conferences so do a little bit of that work tomorrow i think but yeah the the longest and hardest part of the proofreading process is done and it's done quite a few days early i'd scheduled myself to finish it on sunday the 29th and i'm finishing it on wednesday the 25th so that's exciting the painters I think they're not done but they're almost done with the building and they definitely seem done with like my actual part of the building my front door is now painted blue which is very exciting and I think they've taken off all of the tape and everything so I'm gonna go step out there and just take a look at my new blue door I'm gonna wait until my window is the until the 31st so they were starting on the 16th and going until the 31st so I'll probably wait until after the 31st to put my wreaths back on the door and stuff just like make sure they are completely done with the building and not doing any touch-ups and I also don't know if I need to like wait a few days to let the paint on the door like 
really really dry before I put my wreath hanger back out there so I'm not gonna I'm not like setting up the balcony yet and I'm not gonna put my wreath out on the front door just yet but I think I'm done with having painters right outside my windows and right outside my door. It's just been so distracting hearing them, like, like hearing someone do something like at my front door or seeing someone on a ladder right outside this window. I'm so easily distracted to begin with. But when it comes to my home, I'm just so like finely attuned to the noises like the normal noises. And so every time I hear a noise that's not a normal noise, like someone right outside my window or right outside the front door, it's like, what's that? And so it's been happening just so much all day, every day. So I'm glad to have that done. That will just be really nice that that is now going to be done. And they're already done with the building closest to me. So now they're starting the building opposite me so there will still be a little bit of noise in this area of the apartment complex but not much because when they were next to me it wasn't that bad so now they're going to be across the green space so there'll be even more space between us so i don't think it'll be that bad then once that building's done they are done with this whole part of the complex and they move over to the other side so peace and tranquility <laughs> will be restored just in time for hopefully being able to open up the windows and enjoy all of that so yeah the the painting there's your so yeah there's your painting update i think it's finally done and i'm really excited but for now i am done for the day i'm so glad I managed to get the proofreading done earlier because there's no way I could do it right now. My brain is completely fried and I am absolutely exhausted. So I'm going to go lay down and relax for a little bit, like 30 minutes or so, and then I will get something sorted out for dinner. And I have started re-watching Discovery of Witches before it goes off of Max because I think it's almost done with the 60 days that it was going to be on Max. So yeah, I'm almost to the end of season one. And yes, I'm aware I rewatched this just back at the beginning of September and it has only been about a month since I finished my last rewatch, but tis the season for shows like Discovery of Witches and it is one of my favorites and I have no regrets at watching it again. the end of Thursday. I managed to finish a little bit early. I was done with conferences a little bit early. I still have some work I want to do later. There's a lecture thing that I want to try to log into and watch on Zoom. But yeah, today has just completely run away from me. <laughs> I went to Whole Foods this morning pretty early because I had to be back in time to log on for conferences. Whole Foods was good. They've started putting out Christmas stuff. Halloween is just next week, so it's totally time for Christmas displays to go up. So that was very exciting. I really enjoyed that. Definitely had to resist all of the Christmas candles because 
I wanted them all. And then conferences went great. I meant to get more B-roll from throughout the day and it just didn't happen. Every time I had a few moments in between conferences, I was trying to get some other work done. I've done some grading. I've also done a little bit of book work. I made some progress on the cover. I've started coloring it in which is very exciting. I've also got all the last little bits imported in. So like the final illustration I think is done. So that's really, really exciting. But yeah, the sun is going down. It sets in about one hour. It is 78 degrees outside. So it should be beautiful. There's a tiny, there's a bit of clouds. So the sun's come back out, but like it was behind a cloud while I was driving over here. But yeah, it should be absolutely beautiful out there. So I'm I've been looking forward to this all day. I, I knew I was going to have just enough time to get out here. I'm not going to go for a long hike. I say 30 minutes. It'll probably end up being 40 because I can't just, I can, ne I, I will tell myself just do 30, just do 30. I can never stick to that. But I am going to probably go pretty slow and I'm going to just go down the main trail to where it joins up with the next trail. And yeah, probably just about a mile. I'm not, not, I'm not going to burn myself out. I'm not going to go too hard, too long, too fast, too intense. We're just going for a nice relaxing hike. So let's go. It is now Friday <laughs> and it's the next day. So the last time I spoke to you all, we were hiking. I didn't get to finish. <laughs> I was meant to talk to you guys in the car after the hike because I like our little car chats after the hikes, but I got delayed. So long story short, I ran into someone on the hike, not someone I know, a complete stranger. I had an interaction with a mountain biker who was passing me. He saw a jackrabbit behind me apparently and was asking if I saw it. I'm like, no, I didn't see it. I haven't, I've never seen a jackrabbit out there, but apparently it was huge. Here in the desert, we have little like desert cottontails. They're adorable. But then we also have large jackrabbits and they're about the size of a small like they're probably about Gus's size, maybe even a little bit bigger than Gus. Like they're the size of a small dog, small to medium sized dog. So that was cool. I've never seen a track rabbit out there. I'm kind of jealous that he saw it and I didn't. And there was this woman coming up the trail behind me and we started talking about the mountain biker and I had, she, they both had noticed me kind of jump out of the way of the mountain biker. And I, he thought that I was going after the dog the jackrabbit no it's trying to get out of your way <laughs> and so the woman and I were talking she's like I never know what to do and I'm like yeah I just we have hikers have the right of way over bikers but it's so much easier for me to get out of his way than it is for him to not be in my way so anyway this woman and I started talking and we just hiked for about 10 minutes together 
And then we got to the point where I was planning on stopping and we just kept talking. Like she was very chatty and I'm very chatty. We were just talking and talking and talking and then finally I'm like, it's getting late. Like I, I need to turn around. So I managed to get out of the conversation, but she was so nice. I could have stayed out there talking to her all night, but the sun was setting. And so we said goodbye. She went in her direction. I turned around and went back in my direction and I booked it back to the parking lot. I'm usually back at the parking lot no later than when the sun is going below the horizon. And I time my hikes like down to the minute. I always know what time the sun is setting, how much time total I have to hike. So if I'm doing a loop or if I'm just doing an out and back, everything is timed. So the sun set while I was still on the trail, which was pretty, but not what I wanted. <laughs> but there was a beautiful moonrise. I think I got that in the footage. It was spectacular. It was absolutely gorgeous. And once I got back to the parking lot, there were still a lot of people there. So I had no problem leaving, but yeah, it was <laughs> a bit of a rush. And then I had to rush home, missed the first 20 minutes of the lecture that my department was hosting on Zoom, but managed to catch most of it. It was an hour long, so I caught the last 40 minutes. I have the book by the speaker, so it made me really want to go back and read her book because I really liked her discussion. So I also want to go and watch the beginning of the discussion that I missed, but that was good. And then I just watched Discovery of Witches and a little bit of YouTube for the rest of the night. Now it's Friday and I'm at my parents' house. I have a venti. Uh, latte today. I also have a pumpkin bread in the other room. I'll go get that. I'm in between conferences, but I've got one student coming in about 15 minutes. I might pop out and just get up and stretch my legs a little bit before I come back. And then I've got two conferences and then an hour lunch. And then I've got three conferences and then a 30 minute break and then two conferences and a 30 minute break and then my last conference. So my hybrid students have all turned in their second drafts. My online students turned their second drafts in tonight. So there's some to grade early, but not a ton. So I wanna try to grade most of the second drafts for my hybrid students. So I do have some grading to do and I've got a little bit of teaching admin. I've got some emails I need to go through. So I'm doing all of that in between conferences as well as going out and like chatting with mom and snuggling with the dogs a little bit. So I'm going to do that. That's where we're at. This week is wrapping up. I'm ready to wrap up. I'm so tired. I don't know that I'm going to get any book work done today, but that's okay. The morning is off to a good start. So we'll see how this goes and we'll see how much grading I can get done in between all of these conferences. This silly little sleepy head has been in the office with me throughout all of these first few morning conferences and I didn't even realize it. She must have followed mommy in here earlier and then got locked in. I am surprised you didn't make a fuss to be let out, silly girl.
Okay, it is the end of the day. I am done with conferences. Mommy and I have been watching. <laughs> you gotta know I'm gonna vlog. No, um, I have no makeup on. My hair is like in barrettes. Still kind of damp. No, you look fine. <laughs> Got that not a day, Not a day me. over 30. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just turned a year older yesterday. Yes, please. You know, you're one year younger, and then on one specific day, you're suddenly a year older. <laughs> Everyone tell mom happy birthday in the comments. <laughs> Leave some birthday-related emojis. That's your instructions for this vlog. Um, oh, I'm so old. No, I forgot to tell you the woman that I was talking to on the hike yesterday. Yeah. She did not believe I was nearly 43. Oh, yeah. She was like, well, first she was, we are talking about stuff in general and she's like well you know how all you young girls are she's like you're what you can't be over 25 or something like that <laughs> I'm like oh my god no I'm nearly 43 she's like no way you're not she was so shocked I'm like okay I'll take it. I said it's genetics my mom doesn't look her age my grandma never looked yeah, her age 67 oh. mom you, you do not look 67 yes I do look no you don't girls. Well, when you do that, <laughs> no, mom, mom, you're young as, what do you say? You're yesterday? only as young as you think you're as, you're as young as you think you are, or you're only as old as you think you are. And then I was like, good thing. Good thing it's not, not as old as I feel like I am. Cause then we both would be in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm done with conferences. I'm done with grading. I'm all caught up on grading okay. that I wanted to do. Dad is cooking cooking which means he's called on the in, phone right now which means he's <laughs> called in an order to the chinese place down the road so that'll be delivered soon we've got the world series game one it's on Go tv D right now arizona diamondbacks back in the world series for the first time in 22 years i think the last time i watched the world series was 22 years and ago it, and it's so funny you know their nickname now no the snakes the snakes yes they're calling them the snakes instead of diamondbacks the Diamondback or D-backs? Yeah. No, like for real? Yeah. The snakes are in the World Series. No. <laughs> Go look. It was bad enough when they changed the uniform design. No, Diamondbacks. <laughs> Diamondbacks. Oh, they're calling them the snakes. No. And then for a while, for um. That's not okay. Uh, for, I do not approve. For Hispanic heritage, they had serpentis on there. I don't That's know if I'm cool. Pronouncing it. Right. That's cool. But the snakes. That means serpents, snakes. Yeah. But still, no. The snakes. No. The snakes are gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> Diamondback is much scarier. Like there are plenty of like non-poisonous, non-scary snakes. Diamondbacks are not one of them. Diamondbacks is just much scarier, I think. Yeah. Anyway, we're just getting some fresh air. It's beautiful out here. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. After our heat of the summer, we're all so happy to have nice weather. So we're just gonna have a nice quiet dinner while we watch the World Series, and I'll go home. I'm probably not gonna watch the whole game. She's not gonna watch. She's gonna be on her little well, phone. It's just game. No, I'm, t I'm gonna fall asleep if I stay, <laughs> so I need to drive home before I get too tired all so right. all right but i'll watch the beginning and mom will keep me posted on the rest it's are we ready to go one. inside it's yeah it's, game it's just one. game one there's <laughs> at least four games so yeah so i'll pay more attention when we get but four games further really into sad. It. that means they somebody lost every single someone one. yeah and, someone and sweeps fans on either side would be. would not be happy yeah yeah. All right, pups, so. let's go inside. Okay, I had to swap out the battery because that battery was dying, but I think dinner will be here in, usually it's 40-ish minutes, so dinner will be here soon. And then, yeah, as much as I would like to stay and watch the game, I am so tired after being on Zoom for an entire week. And I don't think I should be driving that late at night. And baseball games do tend to last at least a few hours. So I don't think I'm gonna last that long. I watched when they won the World, the World Series back in 2001. Mm -hmm. It's been 22 years. Um, I remember watching it. Yeah, that's why everyone's so excited. It's been 20 years. It's been 22. Well, and they were brand new. Was that their first year as a... Uh... No, they were like three or four years. Okay. Now, they, they were still pretty new as a team. But yeah, they said it was the fastest good an expansion team 
had ever gone to the World Series. I remember it was something like that. So, so we were a, a brand new team. They expanded the league, and that's yeah. how we ended up with the team. It wasn't like somebody moved here. Yeah. Like the Cardinals moved here. Oh. The Cardinals used to be in St. Louis with the Cardinals baseball team. There's a Cardinals, St. Louis Cardinals baseball team, and they had the um, St. Louis Cardinals football team. Oh, and then and, they became the Arizona Cardinals? And they moved here, yeah. See, I don't watch sports, so I don't know these things. And then, <laughs> like, the Braves used to be in Milwaukee when I was a kid, and then they moved to Atlanta. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I just remember watching, I was living in Tucson when the Diamondbacks went last time. I remember watching the final game and I could hear, I must have had my windows open by that time of the year, because I could hear everyone in the other apartments cheering yeah. when they won. <laughs> so, so yeah, I might have to watch this year. But I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a lovely week. Thanks for keeping me company while I've been doing these conferences. Give the vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Right, Mom? Yep. Yep. Tell Mom happy birthday. Leave some birthday cake and balloon and fun birthday emojis in the comments. Yeah. And we will see you all very soon in the next vlog. Thank you very yeah. much for watching this one. Bye. Bye, Say everybody. Bye. <laughs>